Uh, you worked at Norwood, uh, building Camaros, Firebirds, and Novas, and you're going to tell us a little bit of stories, like stories from Riverhead. Do tell. Well, there were stories like these times I came in that and I heard roosters and stuff in the plant, and somebody let a whole bunch of chickens in it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and another time I went into the plant, and uh, the cooks and everybody in the cafeteria uh -huh. run all over. Somebody put a grease pig in the kitchen. Oh, jeez. Unbelievable. Now tell me, are the Coke bottles and sandwiches in the headliners true? I have nothing. I, I know nothing. But that, I was done on Fisher Body side. I okay. Worked, I worked the Chancy side. I, I heard a story about over there on the Fisher Body side where a guy put a string and a bolt. And every time you took a right turn, you heard a bang in your car. Yeah. And it took him forever to find out what the bang was. And Jeez. he had a little note on it saying, well, he found it. <laughs> yeah. What were some of those chalk marks and stuff that you guys put on the cars? What was that all about? Oh, there were some people like to put their initials on it. Oh, okay. There were, I don't know. The people did it for different reasons. Uh, Bored out of your mind? Yeah. Well, yeah. You had to, they had to have a release because they were held, were under a yeah. whole lot of pressure. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Management and the union put a lot of pressure on the employees. Mm -hmm. A lot of the employees, I was an absentee replacement, and many a time, said, uh, lunchtime came and the guy I was be breaking in never came back. Really? Yeah. They. Uh, they just couldn't hack the job. It, he had one minute to work on the job, uh -huh. and they always put extra work on him that minute. So you did the whole minute, really you did a minute and a half's work in a minute. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, you, like they said before, that if you had a water fountain next to you, you couldn't even get it dry. Jeez. As that quick and that demanding constant for eight hours, nine hours a day? Eight, nine. Yeah, yeah, 10. Saturdays, Sundays, sometimes. So yeah. I mean, it's a, if the demand was there, we had to work it. You worked it. You worked yeah. it. Yeah, management kept speeding up the lines. Yes, they were caught several times. Yeah. They wanted to get, instead of 60 cars an hour, they'd like to have like 62, 63. Yeah. And that's just a few extra seconds that you lose. Yeah. Well, especially when you're running so tight, if you have an operation which is scheduled for a minute and they're giving you 43 seconds, you got a major problem there. Yes. That's a 20% increase. Not all bolts and everything went in, if mm -hmm. you think. I mean, there was like a defender drop job. I had to uh, hit, hit the bar wall with a hammer. That wasn't in my job description. I had to hit a, a brace yeah. so the fenders would fit. Not even had to hit the frame with a hammer so the front ends would be level. Yeah. Because the, they were covered in and the front ends were just not straight. Mm -hmm. So the only way to fix it was the hammer. And they believed in fixing it right where the problem is, not going back for it or fixing it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you were properly equipped with the BFH. Please. BFH. I don't know. Big that. hammer. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, now I understand. A quick adjustment, yes. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Yeah, that does it. That yeah. does it. Oh, remarkable. Again, thank you very much for coming out. Really appreciate it. And love to hear the stories from the line. Thank you so, very because much you're the guys who really built this stuff. Yes, so, it was great. Thank you again. This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2015 GM Nationals and Car Wash. <laughs>